This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. From the Associated Press, a 32-year-old Houston man was killed in a shark attack off Australia's southwest coast on Saturday. Police said George Thomas Wainwright was diving alone some 400 yards north of Rotten Nest Island, where he was attacked by a great white shark. The first sign he was in trouble was when a stream of bubbles erupted in the ocean surface beside his 25-foot dive boat, police said. His two horrified companions on the boat saw his lifeless body surface and a 10 foot great white shark swim away. Western Australia's police sergeant Gary Cassidy said the attack happened 11 miles west of a popular Perth City beach where a 64-year-old Australian swimmer is believed to have been taken by a great white on October the 10th. The Western Australia state government is promising to hunt the killer using bait and is considering more aircraft surveillance off west coast beaches as whales migrate in large numbers, attracting more sharks. Great whites are protected under Australia's law and one shark researcher is urging against a hunt which she says sounds a little bit like taking revenge. She says there's no way of telling which shark was the killer without killing it and opening its stomach. From KVUE.com in Austin, the state capitol hosted another event in downtown Austin with a more serious tone this weekend. Led by 25 death row survivors, hundreds gathered Saturday afternoon for the annual march to abolish the death penalty. Beginning with a street march, they ended up at the Capitol listening to speeches on why the death penalty should be stopped. Texas, along with 34 other states, currently allow capital punishment. Those marching want it stopped because the killing of one innocent person is too much. There's 139 former death row inmates that have been exonerated in the United States, said Kirk Bloodsworth, who was exonerated from death row. That means actual innocence. And the truth is, if it can happen to me, an honorably discharged Marine with no criminal record history, it can happen to anyone. Texas leads all states in the U.S. in capital punishment since a Supreme Court ruling allowed it in 1976. Those in favor of it say that capital punishment deters crime, cuts down on prison and cost, and it's equal retribution against someone convicted in a crime. From KHOU.com, officials say a rapist appears to be targeting members of the predominantly black Delta Sigma Theta sorority in suburban Dallas. In four cases over 11 months, women all in their mid-50s to mid-60s were attacked in their homes in Plano, Coppell, and Denton County communities of Shady Shores. The Dallas Morning News reports that during the assault, the man has revealed that he knows personal information about the victims. Plano police also released video and photos of a man who could be connected to one attack. He's thought to be a black in his late 30s to mid 40s, 5 foot 7 to 6 feet tall, and 250 to 300 pounds. He appears to have a thin, well-trimmed beard and short hair, possibly with a receding hairline. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.